Hi, my name is Sheila. This is session number seven of Handbook for the New Paradigm, Volume 2, Embracing the Rainbow. I am on page 158, and it begins here. As each of you become involved with this focus and begin the process of composing your individual thoughts to contribute a possible statement of purpose, Oh, wow. I cannot unsee that. We just had a meeting last night, Lisa, Chris, and I, about our, oh, about a statement of purpose for each one of us for the new light streaming dot love. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so. I can't unsee these synchronicities for myself. I know that nobody else is seeing these but me, but holy mother. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start this over again. <laughs> As each of you became involved within this focus and began the process of composing your individual thoughts to com contribute a possible state statement of purpose, it became obvious to you that the simple statement required to appeal to all of mankind was not simple to arrive at. In the moment of this writing, it has not yet come forth. Now, again, this writing is older. I'm not sure if it has been completed, but I know that there is an awful lot of this etheric statement of purpose. My own feeling to it that probably has been completed by now, but because of whole, all of free will, it changes all, constantly. It's what I keep being given. Uh, yeah, in the moment of this writing, it has not yet come forth. The prayer of becoming is not yet widely known. This invocation can set the stage for opening the consciousness to perceive the statement when it is brought forth. And the statement here, in case you missed it in one of the others, is, I am a human becoming. Help me to become. The change, back to the book here, the change in consciousness by those using the prayer with diligence in their daily life is interesting to observe. When it is further combined with a conscious, a conscious clearing of accumulated negative attitudes and letting go of false doctrines from the awareness, it brings about clearly detectable vibrational increases observable by each individual. As the individual vibrations increase, the ability to connect with the source of each is enhanced. The connection itself begins to enliven and allow the body to receive a greater quantity of supportive energy. Trust and believe when I say to you that if this wasn't a true statement, I wouldn't be sitting here right now because... I again on my way off the planet for more than 10 years. It is as though this flow of vital energy has been squeezed or pinched so that the flow is barely enough to maintain life. Contrary to what is taught, without this flow of energy from the source that focused each into being. Life cannot be maintained in the body. At the center of each focus of awareness and within the physical body is a connecting point that receives this energy flow. When this flow of energy is broken or withdrawn, death occurs. The more intense the negative energies that are active in the body, such as anger, fear, hate, etc., the less energy the body itself is able to receive 
of the already diminished flow. Hmm. As these are intentionally released, the invocation of help to become, quote, to become, <clears throat> reactivates the connection with each additional repetition. <clears throat> you, the ground crew, are the guides in setting up all of the suggested procedures to uplift your fellow humans in the very near future. You know, a lot of folks do feel that way. You know, I mean, I equate what they're saying here about I am a human becoming, help me to become, with my own statement that I have used more of me, meaning the larger me, into me. Help me see me. Help me unfold into me. Help me <laughs> know who and what I am. Show me, reveal it to me. This is what I'm 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 feeling is that is is the whole thing behind what that is. I'm a human becoming, help me to become, or help me become. Back to the book here. It is you that demonstrate the feasibility of these proposals and have input as to the viability of these reminders and suggestions. I gotta be honest, I, when you're willing to uh, investigate uh, these statements uh, that people make and see how it works for you. Um, I, th I feel like that's what this is, is saying here. Reminders and suggestions are exactly what these messages contain. Since most humans now are lost within the complexity of their life experience amid the programmed onslaught of overwhelming control, it is obvious without help, quote, being, let alone, quote, becoming is a lost cause. My personal, I feel like that's a, an experiential filter there, but I could be wrong. The numbers, because if thought is thinking itself, I say my thoughts are, that is perhaps the case for individuals who believe or think in that particular way. I, however, do not think or believe in that particular way. So I don't uh, ascribe to that. The numbers of inhabitants long ago became too overwhelming to consider removal as an option. This too has been planned for the universal laws for balanced life, including those regarding procreation were deliberately convoluted and withheld. Warlike tendencies were overstimulated from the natural instinctual self-defense survival modes of behavior. The review of imbalance could go on and on, but that is not the point. The point is that a U-turn must be made by humanity in order to come through this experience. But the major portion of minds are programmed to reject the suggestions to do so. Thus, we must reach those that are open or desperate enough to grasp at whatever straw might possibly lead them to a different possibility. <laughs> I'm going to pause there for a moment and say, trust me when I say that generally nobody who's comfortable is looking for something new. Um, everybody thinks, oh, I wouldn't set it up to come here and suffer. Well, uh, if you set it up to have an experience of a particular so sort of thing, and that was the only way to get your attention to experience that thing over there, then yes, you did. And uh, that's part of what the whole thing about getting rid of the victim consciousness is. Number one. And number two, I can attest to that myself. It was not until I, I threw myself down on my knees and said, either take me now or show me what to do. I cannot handle this anymore. So, yeah, it is up to each one of us. Each of you determines whom these people might be and are relied upon to make contact with them. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, okay. Because uh, I was reading, thus, we must reach those 
that are open or desperate enough to grasp at whatever straw might be might possibly lead them to a different possibility. Each of you determines whom these people might be and are relied upon to make contact with them in an expansive outreach effect, which again is why I feel called to do this in this particular way. Meanwhile, the births continue and the control program also expands its influence and effects. Within this situation, these messages attempt to give us as much help as possible to assist in remembering whom and what you are and to guide each in personal adaptation and evolvement to the greatest extent possible. All this is being done through a type of dictation slash translation slash transcription process that has its limitations. And, and what I feel is meant by that right there is what I spoke to earlier, the experiential filter of the being that was receiving this dictation, translation, transcription process, because it has to come through that physical lensing mechanism. It always has some of their own experience come out in the information, the data. It, it can be no other way. That's why I don't take anything for gospel. All of it is puzzle pieces, potential puzzle pieces. Back to this now. Behind this seemingly vague yet ambitious process is the impetus of the creator-focused energy. It has seemingly decided that the self-contemplation process of control, violence, and victim-slash-martyrdom has reached the point of resolution and transcendence. This is why I feel like it's no longer supported on this planet. This awareness is now moving through the vibratory levels of awareness, and those in the third dimension are to get the message one way or another. Each of you is now a Rowan and has the message in hand. The question is not can you, but will you deliver it? Wow. Okay. Well, that was number seven. Yes. And number eight is coming right up. Wow. Till next time. I hope you will continue to move towards that which brings you joy in each moment that presents itself to you. It is really just a matter of perspective and your perception of that perspective. Be well, my friends.